Hey everybody, welcome back to episode 2 of my hunt vlog. Today I was planning on, you know, shooting my bow and showing you guys what I do with that, but sadly it has been raining for the past four days, so I am limited to my garage. So I am sorry for the messy garage, but without further ado, we'll get straight into what we're doing today. So what I want to show you guys is how to basically increase your draw weight, because I know a lot of people want to have that high 70 pound draw weight and it's really hard to get to. So I'm going to show you guys five or six exercises that uh, you'll be able to do at home for the most part and I hope you guys enjoy it and let's get straight into it. Alright everybody, so the first exercise is going to be push-ups and I know a lot of you probably already know how to do push-ups but they're a really effective workout for increasing your draw weight because not only do they work out your chest but they work out your core and they work out a little bit of your back. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys my way of doing push-ups. I know some people probably do them differently, but this is how I do them. I try and keep my butt as flat as possible or as straight as possible. And you go down, touch your chest, and you you do you know however many you think you can do. And then next I'm going to be doing pull-ups. And you can kind of superset uh, push-ups with pull-ups. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys uh, how to do pull-ups. So, you know, I, I have the luxury of having a, you know, workout bench press area, but I know some of you guys don't, uh, but pretty much any bar that you can hang on or anything you can hang on, you can do pull-ups from. So, this is how I like to do my pull-ups. I know some people don't really know how to, uh, well, not know how to do pull-ups, but some people can't. And that's okay, because you can just order yourself off some off Amazon some, uh, some resistance bands, and you can tie them around, I don't know how to do it, you can tie them around the bar that you're working out on, and you can kind of put your foot on it, and it gives some resistance so it's easier to do a pull up. So, if you're not able to do a real pull-up, that is completely okay. I just suggest you buy some resistance bands. And what pull-ups do is they really work out your back, which is really good for pulling back a bow because you do use your back when you're pulling back a bow. Alright everybody, so the next exercise is going to include some dumbbells. These are 10 pound dumbbells, but you know, depending on how strong you are, you can do more, you can do less, it doesn't really matter. Um, so next we're going to do some bent over, I guess, I think they're like called rear delt flies or whatever. But they work out your shoulders and they work out your back a little bit. So they're really good for your draw weight. And make sure you keep your back straight when you do this. That's pretty much it. So next exercise is just pretty much another variation of what I just did, but they're just standing uh, flies, and they really work out your shoulders. And these these are some of my favorite workouts, actually. I superset them almost every single time I work out chest. I can already feel my shoulders burning. These are really good exercises, and I hope you guys enjoyed these exercises. Uh, next is going to uh, include resistance bands. And like I mentioned earlier, you can get these off Amazon. They're not that expensive. So, I'm not going to do that one, because <laughs> that one's really heavy. But uh, basically, you know, I, I have this bar right here that I'm wrapping it around, but anything you can wrap this around will work. So, I don't really have a name for this exercise other than uh, I just think it kind of helps with with your draw weight because it mimics whenever you actually shoot. And so what I'll do is I'll grab the resistance band right here and I'll just put my hand out like I'm holding a bow and I will pull back 
about the same distance as if I was drawing my actual bow. And you always want to do both sides even though you're not shooting, you know, if you're, if you're right handed you're not going to shoot with your left, but you always want to do both sides so your muscles get equal movement. Alright, so that's going to be it for this, and then we'll get on to the next exercise. Alright everybody, lastly I wanted to show you a different variation of what we did with dumbbells, and I just want to show you that you can do pretty much the same exact thing with resistance bands. So if you don't have enough money to purchase dumbbells and resistance bands, you could just get resistance bands and do pretty much the same stuff. So basically what you do is you step on one end of the band, it doesn't matter, you know, what type of resistance it is, whatever works for you the best. And right now I'm using the blue band, it's probably the second least resistance. But basically, you just do what you did with the other dumbbell. And then you switch. Now if you get resistance bands long enough, you could actually do it with both arms, but mine sadly are not long enough. Alright guys, I hope that helps you out with, you know, getting your draw weight up. And it's, it's always going to take time. This isn't a quick fix. It's not going to bring you up, you know, 5-10 pounds in a week. But if you do it, you know, consistently for a month, you'll definitely see some uh, drastic changes in your draw weight, and I hope it helps you guys out. Don't remember to like, I mean, don't remember. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. It helped the algor algorithm, and I'll see you guys in the next video.